This summer, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland will both be at a major football tournament. The Irish Football Association and the Football Association of Ireland, which are two very different organisations and not at all like the People's Front of Judea and the Judean People's Front, would like to present Irish and Northern Irish Football Explained. Northern Irish football is governed by the Irish Football Association, or IFA, who can pick players from the South. And the Football Association of Ireland, or FAI, governs the Republic of Ireland and can pick players from the North. As far as we know, there has never been an AIF, but we won't rule it out. Northern Ireland fans often refer to themselves as the Ulster men. Ulster, of course, consists of nine counties, three in the Republic of Ireland, including Donegal, which can now be regarded as up north and down south at the same time. Northern Irish fans are the Green and White Army, the Republic of Ireland, the Green Army, although the Republic shorts and occasionally the socks of their kits are also white. If the two sides meet in the knockout stage, then who wears what kit will most likely be decided by a coin toss or a fair dig. Both sides are managed by a Mr M O'Neill. The M O'Neill, who manages the Republic, won 64 caps as a player for Northern Ireland, and the M O'Neill, who manages Northern Ireland, joined them after a two-year stint as manager of the Republic of Ireland's most successful club side. North and South both have accents which are variations of a language regarded as Irish English. However, the most commonly spoken language in the history of both squads is Cockney. If any of this has been confusing, please do send off for our 193-page pamphlet, available in both Gaelic and Ulster Scots. And if you're ever in any doubt about how to befriend a sunburnt, freckly-faced, hammered person in green and white, or white and green, in France this summer, keep it simple and slag off the English.